I love this hot corn soup. It's so good. I feel like so many people talk about going to 7-Eleven in Japan, so I thought, eh, this place might be overhyped. No, I get it now. We went to 7-Eleven so many times because it was just so convenient, especially after a long day of filming and excursions. The first night, we just had a chicken, veggie, and soy sauce onigiri and a steamed egg custard. For day two, I wanted to try the Michelin star instant ramen that I'd heard about. We also picked up another brand of instant ramen, a few snacks, and foot warmers because it is freezing over here. We're gonna try the Michelin star ramen first with Google Translate helping us with the cooking directions. So I found out it was the ramen shop that got the Michelin star. This is just the instant version of it. And it truly is the best instant noodles I've had so far. The flavor was so full and rich and the noodles had al dente texture. Next, we try the other brand of ramen that we got. Totally different style of broth with lighter flavor, but still good. I think it's unfair to compare it to the Michelin star one. And it was fascinating to see the rehydrated meat slice in here. Okay, so right before this, we tried like a Michelin star instant ramen. This one is a lot lighter in broth, but it's still tasty. Like it still has dynamic flavor. I'm using chopsticks backwards. We both already had dinner before this, but we couldn't resist putting down both bowls of instant ramen. What do we have here? Now this sugar-free grape jelly was a random grab. It was good enough, but tomorrow I wanna try a normal sugar version. Day three, we were too lazy to go out for breakfast, so I went to the 7-Eleven downstairs. There were so many onigiri options and I had a hard time deciding. And I've said this before, I'm legit obsessed with the bottled hot corn soup. That's a corn dog. <laughs> I grabbed the corn dog in the front, hoping it would be tasty, but it was all right. The breading had good flavor, but it was a bit dry and there was a lot more of it compared to the hot dog. I probably wouldn't get it again. As for onigiri, I went with a tuna mayo onigiri and squid and sweet and soy sauce onigiri. Both of these ended up being really good flavors, especially the tuna mayo. Day four, we already had dinner and hit up 7-Eleven for dessert. I wanted to try as many snacks as I could that I can't get back at home. This lemon Yakult was like a yogurt and jelly hybrid. It was really tasty. And I felt like I couldn't go wrong with any fruit jelly snacks I picked up in 7-Eleven. These ones were like crunchy jelly. I think it was konjac based. Not too sweet. This is the last time we hit up 7-Eleven for food and it was to eat on the bullet train. These rolls are called ehomaki and it's a thick sushi roll served on a special day in Japan. The day we got these, we were supposed to finish a whole one on our own, which would give us good luck for the rest of the year. I didn't think these would be good because, I don't know, maybe people were expected to eat them for the good luck regardless. But they're just as good as the other onigiri we've been eating. Doug finished his way faster than I did, but I wanted the good luck so I scarfed it all down outside the train. So out of all that, which of these 7-Eleven treats would you want to try? 